Hey, this is Leland with Yamaha Commercial Audio, here to talk to you about the operational differences between the QL series console and the CL series console. Now, when you're looking at your selected channel section here on your QL series console, you'll see that you have controls for your gain, your pan, your two dynamics processors, your high pass filter, and also your equalizer. When you're dealing with the EQ, you've got low, low mid, high mid, and high mid buttons that are going to allow you to access those different bands of your four band parametric EQ. When it comes to accessing your mixes, you've got these 16 buttons over here on the left-hand side, which are going to put you into synth on fader mode for that individual mix. So if I select here on mix number 15, that's going to put me into synth on fader mode for that mix. You can see every one of these select channels is lit up, so that's a great indication for me that I'm in synth on fader mode. If I press on that button for number 15 again, that's going to take me right out of synth on fader mode. Now the last one I want to talk about, really important one here, is going to be this touch and turn knob. This touch and turn knob is going to be your best friend when you're working there on the QL series because any one of these virtual encoders that I touch on here on the screen can be controlled by that touch and turn knob. So it doesn't matter if I'm grabbing part of the EQ, if I'm grabbing part of one of my dynamic processors, or if I'm touching on one of my mix buses, I can control all of that from this touch and turn knob. You can also control your four virtual user-defined knobs, which are located down here at the bottom of the screen. Now, if we move over to the CL series console, taking a look at the CL1, this is going to be the smallest of the CL series, but it's going to have the same control functions that you find on the CL3 and the CL5. Starting off with the selected channel section over here on the left-hand side, you'll see we have that same gain, pan, two dynamics processors, and high-pass filter control that we had on the QL series. But here on the CL, you're going to have dedicated knobs for each band of the EQ. So instead of having to push a button to switch between the different bands, you'll be able to access each one of those bands from one of the controls. When it comes down to the mixes, I've got dedicated knobs for each one of those mixes, all color-coded to match with the color coding that you're seeing on the screen. Of course, I have 24 mixes and 8 matrices that I can access here on the CL series, and I can switch back and forth between mixes 1 through 16 and mixes 17 through 24 and my matrices just by pressing on these buttons here at the top. Now over here on the right hand side, I've got four user defined knobs. So on that QL series, I had virtual user defined knobs. Here on the CL, you're going to use the hardware to control those user defined knob functions. And the bottom one down here, number D, or letter D I should say, the bottom one down here, letter D, this one we use for the touch and turn function by default. So just like on my QL series, how I can select one of these virtual encoders and then adjust it using that touch and turn knob, I can do the same thing here on my CL series. In addition to that, you've also got this gain, pan, and assign function down here. Okay? Now with this gain, pan, and assign function, every time you press on this button, that's going to change the way these multifunction encoders here are operating. So when that LED is lit up on the gain, I can control either my analog gain or my digital gain. If I press it one time, it'll change down to the pan, and now I can pan any one of these channels left and right within my stereo field. Or we can take it down to the assign function. And when you're on that assign function, the default is set to picking up whatever mix that you have selected. But you can assign that to a specific mix. We can assign it to our dynamics thresholds. We can assign it to the high pass filter. Lots of different functions that you can assign that from when you go into the setup menu and user setup. Again, my name is Leland Green with Yamaha Commercial Audio. And these are the differences of the hardware operation of the CL series and the QL series.